Good morning, it is day one of our Isogenics journey here together and I just woke the kids up for school. I wanna point out, it was really funny, when I woke up Anthony this morning, the very first thing you said to me was, do I get to make a shake now? And I'm like, dude, you gotta get up, brush your teeth, get dressed, like let's go. He's been reading the instructions, he's ready to go, he's got all our shaker cups out. Sophia is like me, we are not morning people. Oh, all right, so let's make these and give them a go. I have to leave for work in like two minutes. But this is why I need a solution like this because I'm not organized enough. Anthony, do you want yours with water or with almond milk? Almond, almond milk. milk. Almond milk, okay. Almond. It says eight, eight, ounces. eight ounces. Okay. What about me? Well, you guys are probably gonna share one for the first day to give it a try. I like it. Okay, there's eight ounces. Go ahead and put your powder in there. Um, do you need scissors? There's scissors right there. Okay. Like chocolate, chocolate it does look like chocolate almond milk. That's essentially what it is. So oh. it's just put them while you're the pack is just feeling nutrition in it. It's just hold up. Hold up. And it's just kind of, are you mumbling or are you talking? Alright, let's open mine. Should I take the sifter off first? Yeah, that's probably a better idea. I've never seen anything about the sifter. No, yours has a little ball in it. Yours, you can just make sure that top is on there real good. Get up. 30 to 60 seconds. Is this 30 to 60 yep. seconds? Yep. Okay, and you guys are going to share that one today, okay? And then maybe if you like it tomorrow, you can each do one. Okay. Is that enough? Did I shake it enough or do I need more? What's your first sip? You like it, Sophie? Mine looks kind of gummy. Maybe I need to shake it a little bit yeah, more. Maybe put, maybe put some water. She yeah. said that the almond milk kind of makes it a little bit thicker. So maybe I need to add a little more almond milk for my personal preference. Yeah, because it's really thick. It's like sticking. So I'm going to add a little bit of water. Oh yeah, it's not that it's bad. It just needs more liquid. Add a little water. You're going to do water? Do a little more almond milk. Oh, now it's a liquid. Okay. Now you got it going. I have to go to work now. I'm going to take this with me. You guys have a wonderful day. I will see you later after school. And then we will kind of check in and see how we felt after trying our shake. And then she disappears. <laughs> All right. I got to go. I love you. Bye. I love you. Mm -hmm. Share with your sister. Don't forget. If you want, you can pour it out into the like, different glasses and stuff. Oh, I'm just grabbing your garbage because you're going to forget. Wow, there's amino acids. Lysine. I take L-lysine vitamin every morning anyways. So that's good. Oh, I forgot to take my ionics. I will try this tomorrow. Let's ease into this. Okay, and we'll do that tomorrow. Hey, so it is day two of me doing this whole Ionics thing, and I want to show you this little clip here before I get into my weigh-in. It is what I woke up to today, and I shared this on Instagram, so be sure you're following me on there in case you want to see like little sneak peeks before waiting for videos like this. And it was my son reading a book and drinking his isogenic shake without me even asking, and like, I don't know, like it just feels so good to have him on board and so support, like <laughs> I could get emotional about it. Um, there's been situations in my past where I haven't felt supported and loved, and at this point in my life, I feel loved and supported by everyone that's in my life, and that includes you guys, that includes the people in my, you know, face-to-face -face contact and in my family, and it feels really good. Um, is this what happiness is? I think that's something I've always kind of struggled with, is that I try to be positive, but of course I'm like naturally a little bit negative, I like to see like a, but what if this happens, but this can happen, and I'm very analytic. It was really nice to see a little bit of results, at least just seeing that my son was on board and that he was excited about it, and yeah. All right, so I put a battery in the scale. Yo, like you guys are here. Holy shit. Okay, so, wait, hold on. I'm gonna do this again. I don't know that I really trust that. Okay, come on. Okay, I'm on there. I need to stop moving. What the? Are you serious right now? And sorry, I just got back from yoga class. I'm gonna jump in the shower here. I'm like super gross and sweaty and gross. 
okay so why am I getting so like crazy about that I'm telling you two Fridays ago I got on the scale at the gym and I was 171 and I don't know like I've been trying to make healthier choices and I still have a bag of M&Ms in my desk I still cheat I will be honest with you I will be the first one to say that I don't 100% stick to health things and I should and I have goals that I'm trying to reach um, if I may share with you and I don't know if this is too personal or um, if things will change but Logan and I are planning to start expanding our family and we would like to do so by next July I want to be pregnant in July of 2019 uh, maybe that'll happen maybe it won't but I want to feel good throughout my pregnancy I was really really young with having my first two children and I felt like that helped me bounce back a little bit more but then I went into my whole like thyroid issues and gained a, bu a bunch of weight with that but I'm 30 like I'll be 31 next year when I want to be pregnant and I don't I don't know I'm worried that I'm gonna be so uncomfortable and cranky and when I'm uncomfortable I'm super super irritable I think most people are like that though so I want to get ahead of myself I want to be healthy maybe lose a little bit of weight and to hear the scale going down finally let me tell you, I got up to 189 at one point, and I didn't feel like myself. I, even now, I still don't feel like, I still feel like I have quite a bit to lose around the midsection. I've talked about my arms before. I have a lot more work to go, but to see a small victory like this, and I'm just beginning this, so this is my start weight. Let's see if the weight changes. Let's see how I'm feeling in a couple of weeks. And I very much look forward to sharing this journey with you. I hope you choose to stay along with me. I realized I never really explained to you how I was feeling after having my shakes. Yesterday and today, I didn't feel anything weird after having my shake. I definitely didn't get a stomach ache, which is a major, major, major plus. And I did keep full for a good while. I did need a snack about two and a half, three hours out. I needed to kind of have something. I didn't have my Isogenics one, but um, I just kind of snacked on some stuff that we had at the office. And then today, I'm gonna have a little snack here in a bit. I, I've realized that I haven't taken any of the other products such as the Isoflush or the Ionics or anything like that. Number one, because I keep forgetting. And two, it's kind of nice to start off knowing where I'm at with just trying the uh, protein. But I've noticed that it's kept everything going tummy-wise, if you know what I'm saying. Um, not anything too crazy where I feel like I'm having an issue. But enough that I don't need to be taking my other like prescription medication that I sometimes have to take. Um, especially with being um, hypothyroidism. It slows everything down and you have issues with that. Am I always running late, like forever in my life? So I'm supposed to be leaving here in a moment to go to my friend's nail school because she's training to be a nail tech and I want to get my nails all done. And I just, I love that I get to support her. We get to do something fun, have a little girl chat. But I'm literally running around trying to get done after going to yoga class. I was so sweaty and gross. I had to shower and wash my hair. So I'm running late on time. I meant to make a salad. I had everything planned out in my head, of course, and I'm not going to be able to do that now. So I just made myself the vanilla chai shake. It's my first time trying the vanilla one. I'm a little nervous. I don't really like chai. Can I put you guys on the ground here? I'll squat down. I don't really like chai, but you know what? My friend Denisha does, and that's who I'm gonna go meet. So I'm wondering if it's something she might like too, so maybe she could have a little flavor. But I wanted to try something different other than the dark chocolate. I mean, I got both flavors, why not? But I figured this is the exact reason why I wanted to start this system. It's not just to be like, oh, I guess I'll just skip lunch today. No, I need, like you have to eat. Like you can't be like that. And sometimes, would I, do I want to eat solid, real food? Yes, and I'm a huge believer that you still need solid food. But that just means I'm going to have to eat a really good dinner. All right, how's my hair look? It's like fresh, so it's extra frizzy. I don't know. I'm so excited because my nails are so broken and brittle right now, partly because of my thyroid and partly because I had a horrible horrible nail experience a couple weeks back seriously it was bad it was so embarrassing like I went back to have them fix it and then they made it worse 
my nails look horrible. So now they're all brutal and ruined and I'm excited to have her fix them all on up. And maybe that's something that maybe balancing out my like nutrient and vitamin levels. Hopefully this will kind of come along with it. I'm out of breath now. I'm gonna go and get my nails done. By the way, this is pretty much how I am and how my life is. I am a hot mess. I am always running around everywhere, racing from here to there, from one task to the next. Where is my purse? Okay, got it. Dude, I'm telling you. Okay, got my shake, got my water, got my phone. Let's go get some pretty nails. Hey guys, I don't even have makeup on and I just did a face mask so it's all red. I don't even have a bra on so don't look. Uh, but today we have a very busy day. My son's gonna be going to the water park with his friends to celebrate his birthday. I figured it's about time that I try the Ionic Supreme. And this is my first time opening it and look at these granules, isn't that different? They look so weird. Okay, so I'm gonna do a scoop in water and six ounces of water. I'm gonna drink this and then I'm gonna get started with my day. Oh, my skin is breaking out so bad. I'm hoping this whole system helps to kind of clear this all up. Kind of looks like beer in a little way and it's got like some foam on top. I thought that was really interesting. Okay, I'm gonna give this a drink and then I actually realized while reading the label of the natural accelerator, I typically start my day off with a half a lemon squeezed into warm water and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And I don't usually put the cayenne pepper, I know I'm supposed to, but this has green tea, apple cider vinegar, cayenne, cinnamon, which is really great for circulation. And then it has um, black pepper, like all of this is really great for kickstarting your body in the morning. And I didn't really realize that. Like I kind of thought of these items like this and this and the flush and the cleanse as like bonus items. I really just started this program to enjoy the protein. But if I don't ha I don't have this open just yet. I actually think I'm gonna take one this morning. But if I don't have to drink the apple cider vinegar to get it, oh my gosh, this is gonna be fantastic. Like if this gives me the same feel. And I very much felt a difference with how my body processes things in my gut and kind of gets everything flowing when I take my apple cider vinegar shots, as I like to call them. So hopefully this will take the place of that. I would very much rather take a pill. I'm gonna drink this, let's see. Oh, it's kinda sweet. Okay, so what is in here? This has just riboflavin, thymine, vitamin six, zinc, a proprietary blend. I see ginger root on there, apple. Yeah, maybe that's why it's so sweet. There's definitely like an apple-y feel to it. Maybe that's why it smells like apple jacks to me. Wolfberry, I don't know what that is, but lots of good things and I'm hoping this is just, this apparently kind of like tailors to what your body needs. So you could take it at night or you could take it in the morning. I tend to like to take things in the morning when it's stuff like this because I get lots of energy from taking certain things and I definitely wouldn't want to risk taking something that may give me energy at night because I do not want to be up all night. So I'm going to finish this up, get ready and start our day. I'll see you guys in a bit. I have to leave for work in like two minutes, but I decided to use my personal blender and do about this much ice, the rest of water, and then I put my uh, vanilla chai. I remember the other day I was saying that I think that this would be really good, like a vanilla shake-ish thing, and I thought maybe it would fit in here. I don't know, I might give it, it's easier to, for me to drink things out of a straw, but I figured I'd share that, and I'm gonna bring one of my little Ice of Delight chocolates, because today's one of my long days at work. I'm going to need this to help me get through the day. Oh my gosh, it just barely fit. I really didn't want to bring a shaker bottle today or this big guy. Oh my gosh, I'll have to take a sip and then put the cap on and then I gotta run to work. But I figured I'd share this with you. Um, it's kind of like milkshakey consistency. I love it, I'm excited. It fills me up and then now I just have to plan out my lunch. And if this is the end of this segment, then thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you in my follow-up video. Bye.